When adolescent athletes become injured, it is very important for the schools and doctors to realize that there may be negative effects stemming from these injuries towards the student athletes. These athletes may change their behavior around school, change their relationships with their family and friends, and are also at a heightened risk for substance abuse. These young athletes are at such a vital point of their life, and these it seems that sports injuries may hinder their social and mental happiness and exploration. For these young athletes with their young developing brains, it is very important for the doctors and the medical field in general to understand that to understand their side of the patient to of sorry to understand their side of the relationship of the overall quality of the patient care. The article which I reviewed was a 2009 article from the Journal of Athletic Training titled Recent Injury and Health-Related Quality of Life in Adolescent Athletes out of A.T. Steele University in Mesa, Arizona. The study sampled about 140 student athletes, uh, some previously injured and others relatively healthy. The survey asked the student athletes to complete a series of medical questionnaires to get a generic measure of the health-related quality of life of these students. What did these surveys find? These surveys found that high school athletes with self-reported injuries had lower scores on the physical and social aspects of the questionnaires, meaning that those students who were previously injured and reported these injuries did not have as good of a quality of life in, in terms of health, a health-related quality of life, as individuals who hadn't been injured, meaning that the rehabilitation process and the overall injury process hindered these students and did not allow them to return fully back to their normal state, what the survey suggests. The conclusions from this article talk about how a recent injury affects areas beyond simply the physical component of health and this injury can cross over into mental and social aspects of health. So reading this article I I've related to it very much because I had bro I've broken both wrists playing basketball as a student athlete in high school and was fortunate enough to rehabilitate myself and come back and actually won a state championship as a senior after breaking my shooting shooting hand wrist the first home game of senior year and I could really relate to this article because I know how difficult it can be when all of a sudden everything you've worked so hard for can be taken right from you and the, neg the negative effects of an injury the social the social effects I really felt I it was it was different not playing on the team everyone kind of looks at you differently if you have an injury you feel different you feel physically weaker because you can't exercise as well as the substance abuse effects of injury, I was I was given Vicodins and I was told and I was told to take them, and it, I could have easily abused those. Fortunately, I didn't, and I used them as prescribed. But it is very it seems like it's it'd be very easy for a patient to abuse painkiller drugs after an injury when they're already feeling socially uncomfortable, maybe something they've never felt before. Those those risk factors can combine into something very dangerous if not taken care of and watched after seriously. A few problems that I had with this article were the, was the small sample size. Granted, you can't get thousands and thousands of high school students to take the time to take your surveys. However, 160 uninjured athletes and 45 injured athletes were surveyed and these were from a a wide range of sports and some sports for example volleyball may have been more popular than football and if you experience a volleyball injury and you're a volleyball player a female volleyball player that has far different social effects than say you're a quarterback on the male football team and you're injured those are those are two kind of different 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 sports for sure but different effects on the individual. Also, I found it interesting how they crossbred male and female and grouped it all into one. 
which worked it worked for the survey and I think that this study out of Arizona is one step in the right direction for the medical field to really understand how an injury can have more than just physical effects on patients it can have mental social effects as well thank you